What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Desjardins. I'm an A certified personal trainer. I've personally lost 80 plus pounds, almost 100 pounds guys and I'm here to help you do the exact same thing but of course more than anything help you build your exact super self that you are after because I think that we all deserve to like who we see in the mirror and also just be content with who we are. So that's what I'm here to help you figure out on my channel. Alright guys, discipline. It's something that we all likely lack in our lives and it's the only key to everything that we want in our entire life. Call it personal accountability, call it keeping promises to yourself, but it all comes back to that one special word, discipline. Now for a very long time in my life, I lacked a significant amount of discipline, which is why I became fat and unhappy, because discipline really is the key to happiness and achievement in any point of your life, and without it, not only do we not achieve as much as we wanted to achieve, but we're also just so much more unhappy because we're out of line with who we wanna be. And this isn't me just reading this in a book and telling you guys, this is me telling you this because I have been undisciplined and I've been disciplined. And I can tell you when I'm undisciplined, I'm so much more unhappy, I'm so much more overweight, I'm just living a worse quality of life when I don't employ discipline into my life. And guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm disciplined all the time. Right now I'm watching the dogs for my parents. My parents are in Cancun on vacation, okay? so. I'm watching the dogs for this entire week and it's really like, it's got me out of my groove. I'm at their place, I'm not at my place. I don't have as much discipline as I would at my place just because I'm used to the motions over there. So I'm really having to work with myself to get myself on track and make sure that I'm doing everything that I need to be doing. And guys, to be honest with you, the main reason that I wanted to make this video in the first place is because I just listened to the entire audiobook Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Those of you who don't know, I did his challenge. Basically, I did his weight loss routine for an entire day and it was brutal and that man is like, don't think that that video says anything about what he's done because he has done so much more than that, it's not even funny. But once I read that book and I heard about all this crazy stuff that David Goggins was able to do, I'm like, you know what? If he can do all that stuff, I can surely employ a little bit of discipline in my life. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my four steps that you need to take to discipline and personal accountability, which is literally the key to anything you want. I'm so not kidding. Because you see, for most of us, the only thing holding us back from what we want is literally ourselves. It's not our circumstances. But before we get into my four steps for more discipline in your life, I've got to employ some discipline by getting a lift so I'm getting it done here. Alright everybody, that workout is complete. 
I love a good push day. Push is by far like my favorite day. Regardless, that was a sweet workout and I got it done here at my parents' house, which was nice because I didn't have to leave. But to those of you wondering, I do train fasted in the morning. I like to lift on an empty stomach. There's nothing worse for me than lifting with food in my stomach, as weird as that sounds, but that's just me. So guys, you already know what time it is and we got some transparent labs two scoops of chocolate protein, and one scoop of my prebiotic greens. Please do use code Jackson at checkout. Get some high quality protein, support your boy, and get some gains all at the same time. That's like a, it's like a kill three birds with one stone. Like, that. come on. But regardless, guys, I just want you to understand that since I just did this workout, I was feeling like garbage before I did it, okay? And then I got uncomfortable and went through the discipline of choosing to say, you know what, I really don't feel like it. I've got a ton of other stuff to do. I'm stressed. I could just, you know, do something else and just, you'll either find a way or you'll find an excuse. So today I didn't find an excuse and I got it done and I'm so much happier. My spirits are so much higher. I'm ready to get after it for the day. And of course, I'm ready to hang with you wonderful people. So without further ado, okay, we got a full shake now. Full send or no send, ladies and gents. Uh. <clears throat> Don't be fooled. I was like terrible, terrible at chugging in college. You can ask any of my friends. So as I mentioned, I've got my four steps to help make you more disciplined throughout each and every single day. And guys, I know that these work because that's literally how I have shifted to lose almost 100 pounds and have discipline in many other areas in my life that I never really did before. They're gonna be pretty short and sweet, but do chew on them because they will help you immensely because once you master discipline, you can literally have anything you want. God, come on. All right, step number one is gonna be change your perspective. You need not see discipline as a punishment or a task or something that like is gonna suck, okay? Discipline is a privilege and more so than anything, discipline is freedom, okay? So I don't want you to see it as something that you feel like you should do or you have to do. We all have enough shoulds in our life, okay? Like we should be this, we should be that. So when I say discipline equals freedom, what I mean is that if you do things that are easy, your life's gonna be hard. If you do things that are hard, your life's gonna be easy, okay? Discipline, personal accountability, whatever you want to call it, doing what you say you're going to do, keeping promises to yourself, that's going to help you have an easier life because when you commit to something and when you expect something from yourself, you know that you're probably going to make it happen and that's what most people cannot understand. Nobody wants to go on a long run or take a cold shower, okay? But you do that because of what you get out of it, okay? Whether that's just knowing that you have a promise to yourself or whether that's actually getting measurable results from something. So be sure to find the reinforcement in the discipline instead of just doing it because you should do it, okay? Change your perspective there. Do it because you want to, not because you got to. All right, guys, and step number two is going to be do things that you purposefully don't like. So I know you guys have probably heard of the concept of taking cold showers, okay? Like a lot of people take cold showers not because it's gonna feel good or it's gonna really provide them any physical benefit, but it's just more so so they say, you know what, if I can do this, what else can I do with my day? If I can do something that sucks this bad, what else can I do with my day? Just doing something throughout your day that you just don't prefer to do. That is going to influence the person that you want to be because you're keeping a promise to yourself and proving that, wow, even though I didn't want to do that, I still did it and it sucked, so what could be worse than that today? I've already done something and accomplished something that I told myself I was gonna do, so what else can I do with my day? You see, hard stuff is what makes you grow, okay? Nobody got any better from doing easy stuff, and that's just the fact of the matter. You don't get better from what's easy, you get better from what's difficult and what's gonna be challenging to you. All right guys, step three is going to be know your why from the start. The reason most people don't stick with a goal and the reason most people are unmotivated and undisciplined is because they just don't have really that strong enough of a reason as to why they're doing what they're doing or why they're trying to partake in things that aren't particularly pleasant that are gonna get them a massive result, but that result just isn't important enough to them. So it's gotta be more so purposeful instead of pointless. If you want to build a habit and you want to have self-discipline, you are going to need to understand what your purpose for doing that task is. Why are you gonna do cardio when everybody else is drinking? Why are you not gonna go out and eat an entire pizza when everybody's going out for pizza? Like, because you wanna lose weight right? I had to do that so much on my journey. There were so many things that I sacrificed and that I had to do, like my daily cardio, like 
not drinking with my friends, but instead having a 10 calorie monster to stay awake with them, but not have as many calories, right? Like I had to make those sacrifices because remember, we don't want weight loss. I wanted the admiration, the respect, and the ability to help all of you. You don't just want to go to the gym because you have to lose weight. You want to go to the gym because you consider yourself a fit person and that's what fit people do. But all right guys, we've got step number four, which is going to be stop trying to get motivated. Okay. Like guys, if you don't feel like going to the gym 90% of the time, like me, motivation's useless. Motivation is just wanting to do something. That's it. Motivation is just wanting to do something. Discipline is doing that task when you don't feel like doing it. And motivation is doing it when you feel like doing it. Okay. So if success relied upon motivation, which it doesn't, then a lot of people would be unsuccessful because no one's motivated. People are disciplined, okay? So just remember, motivation is a sprint and discipline is a marathon. So do not get them mixed up. If you want success, you're gonna need some discipline. All right, guys, so I hope that I was able to teach you a little something and just kind of help you through building more discipline in your life because you will be able to find anything that you would like in this life if you just master discipline, even just a little bit. Make that progress, don't chase that perfection. And I have faith in all of you, as you know. So you know I love you, my YouTube family. So if you are new here, do not be afraid to subscribe down below and join a group of individuals that want to improve their life in every single way. And we really are a family on my channel. So I'd love to have you a part of it. So I appreciate you keeping me company while I'm here alone at my parents' house for the week. And as always, let's keep getting better together. Let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.